Hi everyone, welcome to Spice and Pens. If you like our channel, please hit subscribe and thank you for watching. Hello and welcome to Spice and Pens. Today I'm going to show you how to make this seafood soup. Um, it's a very very nice hearty meal especially on the cold rainy day and stuff so um, I like to make my soup separate and when I want to serve it then I'll just put the seafood in so now let me show you what are the ingredients needed to make the stock I have a half a kilogram of uh, ikan bilis or anchovies one and a half uh, kilograms of uh, chicken leg seven pieces of the uh, dried soul fish which I already uh, deep fried a, some of the fish bones which we will not use, I also deep fried them already 2 whole pup of uh, garlic approximately about 20-25 pieces of small scallops I have with me over here also uh, some of the prawn stock that I made last time if you want to know how to make it, just look at our old video on the um, Hokkien noodles uh, 2 thumb size uh, ginger smashed a piece of the rock sugar 3 pieces of the ikan bilis stock cube and a tablespoon of the white pepper making the stock is very simple so what I do is just put all the ingredients in I'm throwing in the chicken feet first the soul fish as well as the fish bones which has already been deep fried the rock sugar two pieces of ginger for the anchovies or ikan bellies, I'm going to put them inside a muslin bag like this. So what I've done is I've put the anchovies inside this uh, muslin bag itself. So into this bag, I'll throw in the garlic too. The white pepper as well as the dried scallops. Okay. I'm going to tie this up and seal this so they won't fall out. And in this, I'm going to put in three um, you can't believe stock keeper. So this is optional if you want to. But I like this because it actually impart a very nice taste into it. You can opt for those uh, without MSG or so. So I'm going to put in the prawn stock which I prepared a long, long time ago. Also. So fill this up with water and just boil this for approximately one to one and a half hours. Okay, next we are going to make some meatballs. So what I have over here are approximately about 1.2 kilogram of uh, minced meat half a kilogram of a uh, fish paste this can be easily bought in any of the wet market or in NTUC uh, those places that sell yong tau fu actually um, two tablespoons of soy sauce a tablespoon of uh, sesame seed oil pepper a teaspoon of uh, salt and I'm going to put this uh, flounder fish seasoning you can actually get this from Seng Siong actually okay. we just uh, put both of this together One, two, three, four, five teaspoon of this uh, flounder fish seasoning. The soy sauce, which is uh, two tablespoon. This is the low sodium type, so it's not very salty. So if you are using those normal one, you can reduce it to just one. A tablespoon of the sesame seed oil. One teaspoon of salt. Pepper, and you can start to mix them around. I like to use my hand because it actually mixes better this way. Okay, uh, why do I put salt and uh, soy sauce inside? Is because salt is actually to give the saltiness. Soy sauce, yes, you can give the saltiness, but I don't want too much of the soy sauce inside there to to have the saltiness. Um, the effect itself is because I don't want the mixture to be way, way, way too too wet. So we're done with mixing up the minced meat with the fish paste. So we just let it rest in the fridge uh, before we put them inside the soup. Now we are frying some uh, garlic over here. So later when the soup is done, we can just put uh, a teaspoon or so onto the soup and it will impart very nice fragrance to the soup. Don't, uh, don't fry too too dark because uh, even after frying, when you take it out, because the oil is very hot, it will still brown its own. So a light brown will be fine. So more or less around the color about this will be about fine. So it's time to dish them out. 
right now to see how our stock is doing. It's boiling fine. Let's just give it a taste to see whether it's salty enough or not. Oh, very nice. Very nice seafood taste. I think we need approximately about one teaspoon of salt inside here. Right, and it should be done. So okay, time to cook our seafood soup. So I've transferred some of the soup into a small pot. I put a piece of ginger inside, some cabbages, or some other vegetable which you like. I will also put in one wedge of our tomatoes, two pieces of egg tofu, and wait for all this to wait for the soup to boil first before I put the rest of the seafood. Now, for the seafood itself, I have the grouper meat which I've actually deep fried already. I have the liver of the fish, the roe of the fish. I have some beautiful scallops here as well as some big prawns. So now it's boiling already. Let's just put in the cook ingredient the fish in I'll drop in the level as well as the roll the prawns and scallop are pretty fast so I'll just uh, let them boil for a while first right now that the soup is boiling again I'll just drop in the prawns And the scallop. Make sure all the seafood are cooked and it's time to serve them up. Now that all the seafood are cooked already, it's time to transfer them to a bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, seafood soup. I hope you liked our video. Click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Till next time we meet again. Thank you.